So if you're not a very good woodworker and your friends make fun of you and they laugh at you because you suck at it, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could trick your friends into thinking you are the best woodworker in the world. They're gonna be thinking that you are the next Norm Abram. I have two tricks up my sleeve. And to show you those tricks, I am going to make a picture frame out of this pine, but I am gonna screw it up so I can show you these tricks. The first trick that I'm going to show you is use expensive tools like this Festool Domino. If you have one of these, people are gonna think that you're awesome at what you do. They're gonna think you're an amazing woodworker. So I'm gonna use some dominoes to strengthen these joints. On their own, joints like this are not very strong. They don't make good glue joints from end grain to end grain. So I'm gonna add some dominoes in there. You could do splines, but I'm gonna do dominoes because I have it and why not? It makes me look like I'm a good woodworker, so let's do this. Okay, let's glue this up. Oh yeah, look at that. Joking aside, if you guys can afford a Festool Domino, I highly recommend them. They do make life a lot easier. Oh, got glue on here. I always try to avoid getting glue on my table. Okay, this is the tricky part. Yeah, that worked out perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Screwing up things is really hard for me to do. Like I'm always perfect and I never make mistakes, but I managed to screw up a miter. See it's tight here, gapped at the bottom. I'm gonna let that glue dry and then we'll show you the next trick. Now when I just said that, it made me think of another trick to convince people you're a good woodworker and that is to talk with confidence. Tell them you're awesome and tell them you never make mistakes and everything you do is perfect. So now that the glue has dried on this picture frame, now we can go ahead and fix this joint that is tight at the top and it's gapped in the bottom. Cool, I forgot to turn my lights on. I think they look nice. I think I might leave them up all year. All you need is a bottle of wood glue and an orbital sander. Now if your sander has a vacuum on it, you're not gonna want to use the vacuum because you're gonna want the sawdust that comes out the bottom of this. And all honestly though, if I had a joint that turned out like this on a project, I would just remake the whole frame. But let's just say you're tight on material and this is all you have, you need to get the project done, this is how you can fix that. So just take your glue, squeeze it in there, and then get your finger and rub it in that joint. And then while your glue is still wet, Take your orbital sander and sand it. I like to use an 80 grit for this. It seems to always work well. So let's give that a try. Essentially with that wood glue and the sawdust combined with the sanding, it made its own wood filler and it filled it in and it's real nice and smooth. So once that dries, it'll be ready for paint. Now this trick isn't just good for filling in cracks and joints that aren't tight but it's also good for filling in brad nail holes. It's much the same as filling in a crack. All you do is you just squeeze a little bit of glue in, rub it in with your finger, and then sand away the glue, and voila, your hole is filled and ready for paint. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video, and like always, we'll see you in the next one.